hi guys happy little day today now welcome back to the show god damn it where i make a song on mute i feel like i'm really getting good at this stuff guys it's almost too good to the point where it's not even funny anymore how good it is so today i'm gonna challenge myself and make something a bit more profound hotline bling by drake here's how it's gonna work I'm gonna listen to the song once. I get one listen, I get to take notes on it. And then after I listen to it and take my notes, sound off on mute for me. Except you guys can kind of hear what I'm doing. You kind of can hear what I'm doing along the way, but not too much. Because at the end, we're all gonna be surprised about what I ended up pulling out of my mind, my twisted mind. But guys, really quickly before we get into it, really quick, I promise it's so quick, pre-save my song. February 9th, it comes out. It helps so much. I cannot believe how many of you have already pre-saved the song? That's number one. You guys are crazy for that. Thank you so much. Like, that's so, that means a lot to me. I'm really excited about this song. I think you guys are going to love it. Pre-saved down in the description and the pinned comment. And you will not be disappointed because I did hear this one while I was making it. Uh, here we go, guys. <laughs> I had no idea this song was this long and then it just keeps going. Listen, it's a classic. I'm not hating. Everyone's like, oh man, like I'm so mad that songs are so short now ever since TikTok happened. All of a sudden there's songs that are a minute and a half. I'm over here like, <sighs> all right, guys, let's get serious. You used to call me on my, we've got the whole thing organized, got all the sections figured out. And now let's consult the checklist. Intro with the little percussive drums, like the little ones. You guys should be able to hear them, but I shouldn't. That probably works. Perk triangle? Perk triangle, you know, when I listen to that Drake song and I listen to that intro, I go, yeah, you know what this reminds me of? A big triangle. That looks right. Yeah, if you guys watch closely, you can see in the sound wave that that looks about right. And that happens for the rest of the song, basically. You used to call me on my... You used to, you used to... Yeah. Nope. You used to call me on my cell... Nope. God, so hard. God! Oh, I keep forgetting. You used to call me on my... You used to, you used to. Yeah. Intro with the just the vocals. A check. You know what? Let's take a page out of Paul's book. Take his kick. Thanks, Paul. So one thing I totally didn't take notes on was the kick pattern. I think it probably goes like... Bomb, 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 bomb. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, there. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Could add like a little, you know, scary element to this song. Do a little twist on this song. A little, add a little ghostly snare in this song. A ghostly snare for all the ghouls. I don't know. What's next? I put a, a chainsaw in there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> when I'm looking at it, I think that's how it goes. Bum, bum, uh, 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 uh. Getting really used to this junk, guys. Getting almost too good at this for my own good. This series is just going to start stinking because I'm just too good at it. It's not even funny anymore because I'm just too good. Because I just understand too much. You know, I'm going to get on my high horse. My ego is going to go through the ceiling. Through the ceiling and the roof for that matter. And it's just going to, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to turn into a piece of shit. I'm just going to turn into a piece of junk because I just get too, I'm just too good. So I'm just going to take this what I just did and I'm gonna paste it and then this sample I'm just gonna hope that it's one chord and I'm gonna take it down dun, dun, dun. I have a feeling you know this one might be the worst one yet I don't know guys maybe I'm just intuitive like that or maybe I am just too big for my britches actually what am I doing I'm over here doubting myself. Yeah, oh, this one's gonna suck. Yeah, maybe with that attitude. Actually, I'm done saying that. I'm gonna say, I think this one's gonna sound really great. 
I think there's nothing going to be wrong with this one. And I think I'm going to be surprised with how great it is. Now we got to do the soft 808 bass. Oh, it's already in D minor. It's already in the tempo. Guys, what if this is the bass line? What if they just sampled the bass line from Splice? Guys, it actually might be. That actually looks like it could be right. That looks like it's just like it, what it is in the song. Yep. Ever since I left the city. Mm, ever since I left the city. Ever since I left the city. Ever since I left the city. Outro is the drums. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with the outro. I'm not even going to make you sit there and listen to the outro. Because that outro was like a minute and a half long. I'm like, dude, the song's over. If you got nothing else to say, don't waste my time. I got stuff to do. Now we got to tackle this beat switch. I say we find some gentle piano. That could be good. C minor. Okay. This piano, I think, might be too slow. Telling by it? Yeah, like maybe something like this. That seems like it could work. Something about this one, it's just giving me a good feeling. I have a really good feeling about that one. And I just feel like for some reason it looks even wronger than the first one. But sometimes two wrongs don't make a right. It's like a very like tender part of the song right here that happens. And we need to match that energy. I feel like the bass in this section is a bit more dramatic than what we've been working with. Something like maybe like this? I mean, it looks dramatic to me, right? Yeah, I think that's gonna work really well. Man, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, God, this guy, like, who hurt him? He's got a lot to say. A lot. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Ever since I left the city, you got a reputation for yourself now. Everybody knows that I feel left. No. Have you guys had any like crazy Uber drives lately? You guys had any crazy Uber experiences? Man, it's like I got a curse put on me or something because I marked on my app quiet preferred. Not that I don't think that I would love to talk to them. Like, I love to actually have a conversation. I really do enjoy a conversation, but sometimes I just would rather just relax and, you know, read my book. I like to take an Uber sometimes so I can have quiet time to read my book while I go to a place I want to go because I'm really busy. So sometimes it's nice to be in the Uber and read my book. But lately, it's like all of a sudden, I'm reading my book and it's like, all of a sudden now we're talking about the guy's screenplay. I can't just not listen, guys. I can't just not listen, but sometimes the conversation gets a little too intense and they're bobbing and weaving, missing turns because they're talking about the ex-girlfriend showing me their demos about the ex-girlfriend. Talking to me about their screenplay. They're gonna get me there 30 minutes late. My Uber driver the other day told me, uh, I don't think I can finish this actually. I keep missing turns. I think I'm just gonna drop you in the middle of this intersection. They're telling me their whole story. And then complaining to me about how they hate Uber driving self-obsessed people around LA. But then they talk about themselves for an hour when I'm just trying to read my book, guys. The Uber driver, the other day, my Uber driver tried to get out of the car and give me a hug at the end of it. I don't want to have, I don't need. Because ever since I left the city, you started wearing less. God, no, no. My alarm went off. Going places where you d d don't belong. Ever since I left the city, you, 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 you get the, got exactly what you asked for. My life has been crazy lately, guys. In case you guys are wondering, man, I took an improv class the other day. That was crazy. One of the guys in the improv class had his feet out the whole time. Feet out the shoes. We sit on the floor, we're doing the name game. He takes his feet right out the whole time. Yeah, you just be yourself right now. You're someone else. I made this section way too long. God damn it. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. The song's still going to be good. Nothing going to be wrong with the song except for that one part where it's too long. That's fine. You guys are just going to have to listen. I think it might be time to listen. You know, I could sit here, guys, and be like, oh, I don't know how this one's going to sound. It could sound really good or sound really bad. Yeah, maybe with that attitude. No, I think this is going to be the best one yet. I think it's going to be even better than my rendition of Blank Space by Taylor Swift. And that one was near perfect. You used to call me on my 
You used to. You used to. Yeah. You used to call me on my cell phone. Since I left the city, you <laughs> got a reputation for yourself now. As ever since I left the city, you <laughs> started wearing less and going out more. And, and the champagne on the. Okay, the instrumental is way off. But the vocals this time are pretty on beat. Like, they're actually, like, kinda on. You used to call me on my cell phone. I couldn't have picked a more like annoying synth too. Like this synth sounds nothing like Mario and it's awful. <laughs> Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Send up when the hotline blink. That can only mean one thing. Okay, actually, you know, the the drums are pretty on too. I'm pretty proud of that. Running out of pages in your passport Hanging with some girls I've never seen before You used to call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on my cell And that can only mean one thing you're good, you're These days all I do is wonder if you're bending over backwards for someone else Wondering if you're rolling up a backwards for someone else And then the things I taught you nasty for someone else You don't need no one else You don't need no one else No one you're never alone Why you was touching the rope You used to always stay at home Be a good girl, you are in the zone, yeah Wait a minute It sucks that I really butchered the vocals because this part could have been perfect. I made this section way too long. God damn it. Hey girl, it's okay. Don't fret about the section being too long. Let's just sing along. Let's just dance. You used to call me. No. You used to call <laughs> me on my cell phone. Oh my god. Late night when you need. This is like torture my music. Love. This is literally. This is, I swear, this section of the song is actually something that they would torture. Like, you could torture someone with that. I had to turn the synth down that much because I can't, I can't make you guys listen to it. This is horrible. Like, this is actually awful. Except somehow this is amazing. I can, uh, the hotline bling. <sighs> listen, Drake. I know sometimes you bring girls to your shows. I know sometimes you like to bring girls out to your shows, fly them out first class to your shows, give them $10,000 off the stage. I know sometimes you like to bring girls out to your shows, give them a Birkin bag off the stage, give them a Chanel bag off the stage. All I'm saying is, I feel like with this song, I earned myself a Birkin bag. I feel like with this song, I earned myself a spot at your show. I could help you figure out how to do this live. You can make your one of your songs live without being able to hear it. I think you. I think people would really like that in the audience. Just watching you up there press buttons and hear nothing, and then maybe they'll start talking. You could have someone out there. I could be the. I could be sort of like the uh, hype man, I guess. I could be sort of like the bodyguard. Like, hey, stop talking! Stop talking! You're stinking or something. Just an idea for you. I think your live shows are great. I don't know. I've never been to one, but from what I saw, you give away a lot of prizes. So the one thing that I like is prizes. If you happen to stumble upon this video, uh, hey, let me know. I think I could pencil you in if you flew me out to your show. I think it would help a lot. So if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. I upload once a week. I would upload more often, 
but I can't because I got a lot of stuff going on. I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm working on these bigger concept videos behind the scenes that are really fun and they're going to be so funny, guys. Like, I'm so excited to sh start sharing those with you, so stay tuned. Another big thing I'm working on, I got a song coming out February 9th. It's really good and I'm really proud of it, so if you want to give it a listen, give it a pre-save. The link is in my description, in the pinned comment, and uh, you won't be sorry. I think you'll really like it. It's my favorite song, probably. I don't know. I'm just saying stuff at this point. It's fine. One more thing, and then I'll stop yapping, I promise. I'm gonna start doing other little different versions of series like this, like, oh, making a song completely from memory, or making a song just based off the lyrics. Someone in the comments on the Blank Space video had that idea to, like, remake a song that I've never heard before and guess what it sounds like. And I actually was gonna do that for this week's video, but let's just say I, um, I messed up bad, like really bad in that video. So bad that I can't use any of it. So, um, I am going to do that though. And if you guys have any other ideas for things you want me to do, let me know in the comments. I really do love these challenges. I think they're so fun and it seems like you guys like them too. So I'm excited to keep making them and we can all just really laugh. And soon I think I'll try to make them on Twitch too. I think that'd be so fun to do these live. So yeah, got a lot of stuff to figure out, but Stay tuned, guys, and thank you for sticking along on the ride. Okay, bye.